All right, man, Team Earl Spence. We in the car with it today. I had to go get me. I gotta go get me a tire. I need to go to Walmart. So, jeez, I'm probably gonna stop and start this video because I forgot I had to make some stops. I ain't gonna get my tire till tomorrow. But, uh, but yeah, man, let's talk about. Uh, uh, you got a uh, Team Crawford Blu-ray. I mean, Derek James, the one that started. He started the excuse. He trying. He talking about he was misquoted. When he said on the PBC podcast, well, I played it a couple weeks, like way before the Porter fight, where he said, basically, Earl Spence changed, you know, Sean Porter ain't been the same since Earl Spence. Now, that may be true. I can't lie. That can't be true in people. And then also, you got Blu-ray. And, you know, Blu-ray, come on. He be in the comment section. Ain't no ill will. Just just the, just the facts, in my opinion, from, from my, you know, from my perspective, from, you know, he's saying that uh, he put a clip of Kenny Porter saying that, you know, he knew he was going to stop the fight before the fight came in. But... You know, what you got to understand, too, is is that, you know, they talked about retirement, bro. If you if you take clips and don't get the full context of what, what he was saying, he basically said that Sean was ready, was retired before they stepped into the ring. He's seen that in the training. And that, that's as simple as you can, you can, you can basically, and, and as uh, digestible as you can give it to people. He said his son was, was already retired. That's exactly what he said. Excuse me. Back at you. That's exactly what he said. He said his son was already retired. So that's why, he, and then he also said that uh, he had never seen Sean done like that. Now, that's like the thousand opponent that said that about Crawford. Kell Brooks has never been done like that. But, you know, it's, it's a simple solution to what, you know, Blu-ray, Errol Spence and them guys saying, let's just fight. Because cross, cross-examination, cross cross-fights, that don't work. Even in football, it don't work. That don't work. Denver Broncos can beat the Cowboys, but the Cowboys come out and, 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 and blow out, you know, get Tampa a run for their money or blow out Atlanta. And the, and the Broncos will go against the Falcons, and they probably be closer. They might lose. So, you know, cross-examine and cross-fights, that don't work, man. All we've been asking for was to fight. That's all That's all we've been asking for. And Earl has been reluctant to give us the fight. Y'all say y'all win, y'all win, but we don't see the effort. Give a damn about, about Ugas' belt. You know, if y'all want to wait for Ugas, I have no issue with that. I waited about four, five years for this fight. I can wait another year. Legitimately, I literally can wait another damn year. I don't really care about the fight, honestly, man, because y'all tainted this fight. And shit happens, an Earl a car accident, Earl eye injury. Oh, the fight ain't even the same. He playing with house money. Because what he was going to do was, your man's going to go and fight Canelo, come back down so we have a built-in excuse to lose to Crawford. And if I was Crawford, I wouldn't fight you. For what? Honestly, if I'm from his perspective... I prove that I'm elite by, you know, because y'all cross examine. I prove that I'm elite by stopping Sean Porter. Talking about, oh, that was fake. He, well, man, that nigga was drooling on his lap. All right, prove my point. I prove that I'm a head, shoulders above Thurman, Earl, Ugas. I prove that. I tried to get a fight with Ugas before he got the belt. He said, no, Bob didn't want to pay him like a mil, whatever it was. I want to put a number out there. I think it was a million, but it is what it is. Y'all doing all this hoop hollering and it's a simple solution. Let's sign a contract now. And Spence gonna win the fight is mandatory, tune up. He can do what the fuck he wanna do. Let's get this fight popping November, you know, next year or the summer. However y'all wanna do it the fall. It don't matter. Let's get the sign, fight signed now and you can do whatever you wanna do in there, between there. Because it's the same thing between the other Texas. At least Jamel, you know, it was rumors that Jamel didn't wanna fight this down. At least Jamel said, you know what, I'm gonna get, y'all gonna pay me this, that, and the third, and I'll fight this joker. He fighting him. Jamel, the only real. Out of the three Texas boys that's major in boxing, not Ammo and the rest of them boys, whoever else, not them. Out of the Charlo twins, Jamal, Jamel, Errol Spence, Jamel is the realest nigga in it, bro. He's the only real fighter in Texas. His brother going around ducking fucking Benavidez. And nobody asked you to call out Benavidez. No, nobody. Nobody said, hey, man, Jamel should call out Benavidez. Nobody said that. Not a soul. Said that you went out there and called him out, and now you you look stupid. Yeah, I had to stop at Walmart, give me a, a toilet seat, but uh, but yeah, I was left off at Charlo and shit, man. And uh, Jamil, the only one that that one fighting people, bro. Even when like he didn't stay on cold, he stayed on cold. He only one of them dudes fighting guys, man. Now, why would you go do that? I'm telling you, bro. Tell you, dude. I ain't gonna say it because niggas are niggas are sensitive. I say some people call me a racist, but uh, 
people in Deer Point can't drive. You can look up the highest populated, who was the highest populated ethnic group in Dearborn, they can't drive. But, but, he the only one that's fighting people. Even when it look like he might not fight somebody, he negotiated a good deal. And, in the mean, Earl Spence people, they say, well, he can win, he can win. That's just an emotional pick. Because if he can win, we'd be fighting. You ringside, bro. You ringside, man. Why did you run up out of there? And Crawford looked this way, he was gone. After the post-fight interview. So y'all talk about all oh, this, this was fake, this is not real, this is a fictional fairy tale book. Go we'll hop in a ring with him. That's all we asking. Is get out, get in the ring with him. You name dropped him and then you say you want to fight him. Well, it's, it's here. He done. He beat Sean Porter. He stopped him. How have y'all looked at him? It's over with. It's over with. So, you know, you can say it wasn't real. Let's find out if it's real or fake. Let's find out. That's my thing. We can find out. Y'all doing all this slander of this man's name. Like he a Hispanic. Like he a Latino. Like he a Puerto Rican. Like he, he's, he's a brother. He's a black man, but y'all treat him like he, he's the other. But we know, man, if you treat him like he was the other, you treat him better than he was the brother. If you catch my draft, I ain't speaking fast, just hearing slow. You know? Y'all sit there and kiss Can Canelo. Well, go fight Canelo. You said you wanted to go jump and fight Canelo. Then you start changing your tune all of a sudden, even before Caleb Plant got stretched. Anytime these PBC punks go fight somebody from the other side, even Pacquiao come over and beat Keith Thurman. I got a video for Keith Thurman, just... Hold your horses. We're going to be back in the office at the crib in a minute, okay? He want to pop his head up. Man, guess what? I'm out watching Home Alone. Remember, he's playing the old uh, movies and Filthy Animal. I got something for him. I don't want to see Otis no more, bro. But, you know, Blue Way going around saying this, that, and the third. And like I said before, he is entitled to his opinion. You know? That's his opinion. He, he, he seemed like a really good dude, bro. Not saying he ain't. Not saying none of the Earl people ain't, ain't good people. Right? But Earl acting like a BFB. Earl acting like an itch. Y'all ain't holding him accountable. A lot of yes men around him. That's how Deontay Wilder got really stretched, shaped, let it go. That's how he almost got sent to the upper room. Everybody telling him, say yeah, all you gotta do is say yes. Come on, man. Say floor tree. You listen to your say yes, man. You gonna be flowing like Floyd Tree. You already know what it is. You should have fought. You would have. He had his best chance to beat this dude, bro. The reason he Crawford and, 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 and Crawford ain't said nothing negative about him. Paul Crawford did is ask the WC to order it. You know he was he been respectful. He didn't. He has not drugged this man name in the dirt. Earl act like he pro black, but he dragging his people and him dragging another black man in the dirt. Derek James is the one that said that oh Sean Porter might not. Be probably not the same at the fire. Earl, cool. They pulled up a clip where, 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 where Sean Porter said that he was more hurt versus Earl Spence when he was talking about the first night. Cool. Cool. All I'm asking is an opportunity for this brother to get in the ring and show what he can do. If he loses, that's why I'd be the first person to say, My bad, Earl. You the man. You the man. In my young drug boys. But you know, you lose. They already making memes that you know if you lose. Boy. Punches that Crawford hit upside your head with will have no fury like the like these bars I'm gonna spin on top of your head. I don't care what if you give a violent effort. If you go to sleep or you lose by a wash, oh man, you know back the because I lost respect for you because he I never really liked the dude like as far as his fight style. It was nothing like it wasn't shit like he was out cold. But I'm like you know he like man he gonna fight the best. He gonna fight the best. And then when I found out the truth about him and Terence Crawford many moons ago. You know, I had to lead that, that 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 group. And that's fine because I couldn't have an opinion without it being a problem. I can say what the hell I want to say on my channel. You know, I don't have to follow Culver Earl. He, he ducked. It's a duck. And people call him even that group. Oh, you know, uh, uh, what you think about it? You know what I think about it. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a real one. I'm going to say what I, what I say. I care about what he think. I care about what Dallas think. I care what none of them do. Everybody know I'm telling the truth, bro. Because it's not like I got it from just top rank. No, I did not. I got it from 
niggas at PBC running their mouth too because they feel that they don't they feel that they telling the truth. Got it from the sanctioned belt bodies too. Like, dude, nigga, I'm plugged in. And people don't even know it. But you know what? People respect my hustle, respect my grind so much that they already know. They say, well, you can't say this. I ain't gonna say it. Even they say you can say this, but don't say my name, blah, blah, blah. A lot of times I won't even say it, bro. At all. All we asking for is right now, we asking for opportunity. Either we can sign this fight for the future, you can fight next. However, let's lock it in, right? If not, man, let, let this man move on to fight Josh Taylor. Let him go run up a check and do a European and Chinese and Japanese and Australian tour. Let this man go. Right now, either you're going to fight or you're not going to do. You're going to fight or run, like Biggie say. And I know what type of nigga you is. You're going to run. Yo, trainer, man, going out here saying disrespect to Terrence Crawford, this, that, and the third, because he don't want it neither. When trainers get to talking like fanboys, and talking like, all you got to do is say yes. Yes, man. You already know. You know, you ain't coming to you uh, uh, family now. You ain't coming to you got numbers now. Okay, cream of wheat, nigga. He like, Derek James is a cream of wheat, nigga, when he take off his chef hat. Cool. Just say you all don't want to fight. Say we just going to fight. Who got club with three belt? You uh, undisputed champion. We can move on with our lives. Because, you know, it don't matter if you say yes. None of them niggas say yes or no. The people that still support them, that still on the bandwagon, they don't see the light, they still gonna support you. So we need to know, man, you gonna lock this fight in for next or down next year, I'm fine. If not, let Crawford, let, let the narrative die right with, with his decision. Y'all negotiate, y'all can't come to, 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 to uh, uh, an agreement, I'm fine with it, bro. Let's put this shit to the end like years of Pacquiao Mayweather. Canelo, Andrade, Char Triple G, Jam I mean, Canelo, Triple G, no, Canelo, Jamal, Jamel, Charlo, Andrade, they've been fighting since the damn 2010. They've been talking about fighting since 2010. People talk about Demetrius Andrade pulling out versus uh, 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 Jamel, but Jamel don't fucking complain about how Canelo pulled out and switched the opponent to James Kirkland. Real talk, but he'll never talk. He, he talk about like one time. He don't He don't have a, the malice that he once had, bro, like he had for Demetrius Andrade. Y'all get all loud talking about the brothers, but y'all don't talk about the other when they do y'all wrong. Canelo pulled out on your ass too. That's why you wrote your release from Golden Boy. And Demetrius Andrade don't deserve, deserve an opportunity if Canelo and Terrence no cool. We know in history who stopped the biggest fight. It took y'all, it took a lot of y'all two, three years, four years to figure it out. It took for this man to run off. And, and Team Crawford, I heard, said they would have let the man in the ring. Why, why Bob wouldn't let him in the ring? Crawford is no longer. Crawford is no longer a top rank employee. So why wouldn't he let him in the ring? Come on. Crawford grabbed the microphone and asked my Earl. He looked over there. Earl was gone. I know I'll be the same. I always say I'll never leave the hood. I'm like, go, go, Uncle Airroy. I said it before, bro. They doing all this talking on the internet, all this cross examination, cross fighting. Oh, he did this, that. Earl do this. Earl won't do nothing because he won't sign the contract. Why Earl don't sign the contract? He the one that said he don't need no tuna. He want to go for a champion. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. They doing all this woofing. It ain't even Earl Spence fight week. It ain't been Earl Spence fight week for almost a year. Why, why we talk? Y'all should be talking about opponents he should be trying to get lined up with. Y'all should be talking about, you know, let's see him kind of get warmed up. All this, you know, oh, Crawford did hating no Crawford, but that's a black man. Y'all just showing y'all raccoonery. I like that word, huh? That's what they showing, they raccoonery. Canelo set up fights, and, and y'all don't say nothing about Canelo setting up fights. He changed the weight at the weigh-in before. But you know what? Y'all novice. Y'all boxing novice. Either y'all y'all raccoons or y'all boxing novice. It's one or the two. Pick one. Well, I like Earl because he talked to me. He let me hold his ankles when he do sit-ups. Like, okay, cool. That's fine. 
The one thing I can say, he did fire that nigga Blu-ray. I don't care what they say. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know? That, that, that ain't your son. That ain't your, your brother. Like, the only nigga I'm treating like that is my son and my brother. And then, I'm going to tell my brother or my daughter, I'm going to keep it real with him. You know? Oh, Sean, he did it. Well, you know what? You can get in the ring and, and do different versions. Because everybody, like Malik Scott said, he said it was uh, Deontay Wilder and another fighter. He said every fighter say, well, they'd die in the ring for this, and they wouldn't die in the ring, and they get in there and do the Billy Joe Saunders. He ain't said the Billy Joe Saunders part. Okay? Everybody say he was early, like, oh, man, daddy should let him go out on the shield. Okay? You get into that type of dog fight, you can't quit because, you know, we're going to drag you through the mud. Sound like you're a warrior. He's talking about, yeah, you know, he's talking about Elliot Setback, you know, Daddy should do Thailand. He said, you should go out like a warrior. Would you go out? He said, I go out like a warrior. Everybody said that, but you won't even, you won't even sign the contract like a warrior. Come on, he's talking about he a warrior and he'd go out on his shield. He won't even sign the contract. To go out on the shield, if you go out on your shield, you gotta sign the contract. Sean Porter fought everybody. The niggas that you ain't even fought, Keith Thurman. Or Dennis Uga, he fought everybody. Sean Porter said, I never, he ain't look at copy. I never been hit that much. And if you don't want to fight, just tell us, bro. I'm fine with because you, yo, nobody gonna turn on you say, you know what, they ain't in the plans. You know, oh man, we couldn't come to a money agreement. Bet. Bet. I'm fine with it. Niggas can't drive, bro. Detroit, I'm telling you. For home and automotive, and they can't use it. You know? But tell us, man, if people want to spend it to protect him because you're cool with him, I don't care who I'm cool with, nigga. I tell you, I got to keep it real. Got to keep, keep it real on Tony Harrison and Charlo. Got to keep it real. If a man can't expect your opinion as, as a man, you know, then, you know, fuck him. But all this riff raff and blah, blah, boom, pop, boom, and. All this, oh, he'll do this, he'll do this, he'll do that. Oh, the barber, the grandma, the crackhead, he'll do this, he'll do that. The cowboy, if he'll do this, he can't do nothing if you don't sign a contract. Fuck with Bud and get your eye knocked out on that damn ring. Shit, motherfucker be in that bitch like, uh, arr, man down, arr. <laughs> arr. Come on, man, get your get get your fucking head pulled the peeled back. You waited so long that you barely can make the weight now. That's how long he waited. He barely can make the weight. On me, so many before the car. Oh, he weight drained it. Come on, man. What that nigga? What they? Uh, what my man say from uh, Havoc from uh, from Mob DB? Say you niggas can't stand the rain. Sick. Come on, man. Say, you know what I'm saying? You niggas, say, come on, soft. Y'all do all that talking and yelling like women. I seen niggas like that in my whole life in the hood and in, 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 in the neighborhood and in um um in the streets. You know, in school, our teacher in the in the room or authority around they yep yapping, talking all cash shit. But when the teacher you go in the locker room to change or get fresh or whatever, and the teacher ain't around, niggas ain't, niggas don't say nothing. You know, they quiet as a church mouse. That's them niggas, man. They won't say they won't talk reckless to his face, bro. No, they wouldn't talk reckless to that man's face. I won't say none of that, bro. The Earl, Earl ran out there. Why you even show up for, bro? You was helping Sean can win. And Sean would have told you, I'm retired, bro. I don't care how much you offer me. I'm done. But it's all talk. You got all them, all you gotta do is say yes, man, on there. Like, what you gonna do? Fight or run? Let me know what you guys think. Twitter, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We got business plus two hour response from video plus. All the social media links, subscription. Twitter's a fast way to Facebook and Instagram. Want to make a fight? We got you a donation, cash app, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313, PayPal, the description. Appreciate the love and support. Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video. Waiting for this live stream to start or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level. You got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in, 
uh, to join the membership. I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video that want to see the video, but only members would be able to chat. That's three dollars. That's a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there. Ten dollars a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations, and open debate. So you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All Stars will too, and priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. You no know, instant. That's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do. What you think? Don't have a Patreon no more. So Here's where you're going to get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.